I'm here to be an all-time great. You're now rocking with the best. Perfect yellow, perfect yellow, perfect yellow, perfect yellow. The Lakers repeat back-to-back title. Welcome to the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast. Oh, he's smoking hot. The latest Laker news. Another great Showtime feed. The greatest Laker show. This is going to be legendary for a long time. This is the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast. Lakers all day. Go Lakers! What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Baby here, man. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notifications for each and every podcast, man. Lakers get waxed in game two of the second round of the playoffs, 127 to 100, man. Um, series is tied up going back to L.A., man. But first, let me start off by saying Anthony Davis, 11.7 rebounds, four assists, five for 11 from the field. Trash. Just straight trash tonight, AD. You know, I don't care what any Laker fan says. Anthony Davis needs to be better. He needs to be more dominant. Only 11 points. You did this last series, bro. That This is why you're inconsistent this year. One minute, like even Shaq said it best on his. They asked him about it. What do you think about the 30, 30, and 23? Okay, he did one game. Let's see and play better. He's inconsistent. Shaq said it. He's inconsistent. Sure enough, 11, and, 11 points and seven rebounds. Horrible. I don't care what anybody says. That's, he needs to do better. You know? I'm sick and tired of people babying Anthony Davis. He played like trash. Everybody else on the team played like trash. But Anthony Davis it should have been more dominant in the post. Only 11 shots. 5 for 11. You know? Rui Hachimura, 21. D'Lo, 10. 7 for Reeves. LeBron, 23. Didn't score any points in the second half. 6 points for Vanderbilt. We got waxed tonight. You know, Draymond Green had... 11 points, 11 rebounds, 9 assists. Jermichael Green, 11 points. Andrew Riggins, 11. 12, 20 points for Stephen Curry and 12 rebounds, 4 assists. 30 points for Clay, And we just got waxed tonight. You know, Lakers got their ass kicked. Point blank period, you know. It was a 7-point game in the second quarter. Lakers came actually playing pretty good, you know. And Lakers just got their ass whooped. Point blank period, they got their ass whooped. Um, it is what it is, you know. And we got to do better in game three. We got to do better. I don't care what any Laker fan says. Anthony, has, Anthony Davis has to be more dominant in the post, not standing on the three-point line. Get your ass on the low block and go to work. And then Anthony Davis had a look on his face like, okay. He had that same look when we got blown out by Memphis, but you need to do better. Don't go, yeah, okay, with your head. Show it on the court. Me too, gamer, bro. Me too. Me too, man. We lost tonight. It's unfortunate, but hey. It's a long series, first one for not, not one, you know. And we got we got to do better, you know. Um, just we just came out the game really good in the first half, actually first quarter, second quarter, and the Golden State just went on a big run and was up by 11 and a half. LeBron did his thing tonight, you know, but he could do better, you know. He could do better in the second, second, the third game, man. We're gonna be all right, but the fact that people are not holding AD accountable for having this shit performance. If LeBron had this performance, I know everybody on Twitter would be on LeBron, including me. But AD did not play well tonight. I don't care what people say. My personal opinion is AD did not show up tonight. He looked disinterested. He looked like he didn't care. He looked very sluggish. He looked very like he wasn't really involved in the offense. You know, as soon as he saw LeBron going, he was like, okay, go ahead, LeBron. I'll be like this. No, you said give me the ball. I'm 6'11". I'm one of the best scoring bigs in the game. Back down, left hand hook, dunk. Nobody can guard AD. AD has to realize that he let Draymond Green guard him and force turnovers. That cannot happen. You know, that cannot happen against Golden State because Golden State made a lot of threes tonight. And if Golden State, if the Lakers come in game three, what they did in game two, it's going to be a long series for the Lakers. And game three is a must win for the Lakers. I don't care what anybody says, man, because I noticed about Golden State when they get up in the series, they like they never give it away. So we need to come out. Everybody's talking about Eric Lowe, whatever his name is, that Boston dude. It is what it is. You know, the NBA is rigged anyway for the Warriors to win tonight. You know, 
So LeBron got LeBron got hit in the arm. They don't call nothing. But Curry shoots and falls. They call a foul. You know, the NBA likes to make money off of these games, man. It's scripted. You know, the thing is scripted for me, man. I think the NBA is rigged for Warriors to win. They, the Warriors won tonight because of the refs. And AD didn't play up to par. Let me look at the box score real quick for y'all. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Let me see. Three pointers. 12, 21 out of 42. Go, if Golden State shoots 50% from three, we will not win another fucking game. If Golden State shoots 50% from three, we will not win a motherfucking another game. I don't care what anybody says. If the Lakers do not defend the three, we are going to lose. Games three and four and getting blown out in game five at the end of the series. 50% from three. Horrible defense tonight from the Lakers. 55 rebounds for the Warriors. Horrible for the Lakers. 40. Just straight trash. Our own lead was a seven-point lead. We got their biggest lead was 32. We came out trash tonight. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I'm not getting paid by YouTube. Fuck that. I could cuss if I want to, bro. I'm sick and tired of seeing this team come out like this. I'm tired of seeing AD play soft like Charmin. He's one of the best big men in the game. You only have 11 points. <laughs> if someone, if Shaq played like that on this team, I would call him out. Even, I'm keeping it real. I'll, if he played like what he never does, if Kobe Bryant didn't play up to par, I would say he needs to do better. I have a right to call out my players. I don't go baby this team. I don't say AD, 11 points, 7 rebounds. It's good, AD. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Fuck that shit. We need to do better. As a Laker fan, I am very disgusted with this performance tonight by the Los Angeles Lakers. I know we split, but the way we came out, the way AD came out, you know, what up, Lakers Ward Order? What's popping? I'm going to send a link in the comments. But just the fact that AD came out very, like, I don't know, man, just you got to do better, AD. I know it's a team game, but let me ask you this. If LeBron came out scoring 11 points, you know what everybody would say? He needs to do better. But when AD, AD, AD needs to do better, AD needs to do better. Reason. But what I'm saying is when AD plays good, the others follow. When AD and LeBron play good, the others follow. But when one doesn't play good, I noticed that when AD plays good, LeBron is average. AD plays bad, and LeBron plays good. So we have to have them two play together to beat this war team. We have to be perfect. Even LeBron said in before the season series started, we got to play near perfect to beat this team. Didn't show up tonight. But we got to defend the three. 50%, 21 out of 42. That will not beat the Golden State Warriors. Even up 50% from the field from three? No. We will get waxed. If we if we if Golden State shoots 50% in game three, we're losing game three. We got to defend the three. We got to we got to do better on the three. 50% that what do we shoot? 10 for 34. We're falling into the trap. You know? I'm going to bring my boy Angry Lickett. What's going on at uh, LWO? Uh, I just took my brownies out the oven, man. <laughs> you know, but I'm just keeping it real, man. 50%. I didn't – they shot 50% from three, man. That's in free throws, even at 10 for 17, 10 for 16, 62%. But we just – get they have – we more – they had six – Golden State had 16 turnovers tonight, and we had nine. They yeah. they also shot more free throws too. Though. Yeah, but fifty percent from three that that's got to do better. I mean, fifty percent from three. I expect that from Golden State. That's all they... Yeah, true. But we got to play defense on that though. If we don't, it's going to be a long series, man. We got to defend the three. I'm worried about uh, Vanderbilt's leg. That didn't look that didn't look right. Yeah. It seemed like it might be sore in the morning. Hit up Snoop Dogg real quick, and he'll get you right. <laughs> but, yeah, man. Yeah, but, they, ain't, they ain't tested for it no more in the NBA. Yeah. But, but I'm just uh, – man, if I was the height of AD and the skill set like Anthony Davis, man, I would be happy. I would be taking advantage of the size, man. But we'll be all right, man. Game three is a must win for the Lakers, man, because – when Golden State, if Golden State gets up in the series, they never like to let it go. I do not want to be down 2-1 to this team because they'll smell blood. 
Yeah, you want that happen, man. Yeah, we got to win on game three, man. We got to. We got to, man. And all these AD fans that like to, um, you know, baby him. Mean, 11 points, 7 rebounds. I know the team, but AD and LeBron are the whole team, you know. It, it's like, oh, my God. It's like, come on, man. If, if Shaq played like that in the NBA Finals or the playoffs, you know, best believe our call is us out. Hey, I'm going to just say this. To everybody in the chat, everybody's watching, y'all yeah, think Big Baby pissed off. Watch what happened when these LeBron fans react, how they going to react if we lose this series. <laughs> especially the, especially the Steph Curry. Yeah. Yeah. And if Golden State does win the series, they're going they're going to they're going to repeat as champs. If we get beat by Golden State, I'd rather them uh, win the championship than Boston. Yep. But it's a, like Empire Jeff said, we got to adjust. But, you know, we got to lock down on defense, man. We got to play better. But I know, I know, I already, I already knew 80, 80 is going to play good on the game. Three. He's going to come out, dominate. Let me see who. Draymond Green. So Kevin Looney barely played in six. So basically, it was just their starting lineup that beat the Lakers by themselves. Yeah, but we gotta do better, you know. And yeah, Kevon Looney had an illness. More like a um, pretend you're sick, so you can so you can make the adjustment. He'll be, he'll start again on Game Three. Watch. That's how um, I looked at it too. It was it was crazy. Like they did it to get uh, AD out the paint. Yeah, and it, and they got AD got to adjust that. Yeah. You know, you know we gotta come out. And be pissed off and not like, you know, not like, oh, my God, we'll be fine. No, we got to come out like we're down 0-2 and be pissed off. You know? Mm-hmm. Magic tweeted and said, in game three, Lakers have to make some m- minor changes and adjust how the Warriors are playing them. Yeah. You know? That's why Magic still need to be there. It, it sucks. He's going. Yeah. Because he'd be talking to Darvin Hill. Yeah, he, he should. If Magic was still there, he'd be talking to Darvin Hill. Yeah, and uh, um, Darvin Hill says he expects the Lakers to play better in game three. Yeah, he's supposed to say that. Yeah. I already know what, LeB- I already know what LeBron's going to say. Oh, we, we got a split. We'll be fine. And, you know. You know, I'm I'm looking forward to Game Three, man. We got to win on Sunday or Saturday. We gonna win Game Three and Four. I have a yeah. feeling, man. Yeah, we'll be all right. Um, I know a lot of people on Twitter that I back and forth with. They they baby Anthony Davis, man. They baby this motherfucker. He played like trash, and that. What up, Dwight Smith? You can have whatever you like. Yeah, Lakers got their ass kicked. Patron on ice. <laughs> Angry Lakers fan making some brownies. Yeah. Where the hell was Dwight Smith at when, when we was live over there? Oh, no, man. But Laker Girl should have came in, man. When Laker Girl watches the games, we win, man. Where's she been at? I'm sure she was. But hey, man, we already know what Skip Bates is gonna say, and Stephen A. Smith. I already know what Stephen A. Smith is gonna say tomorrow, and I already know what the quote is gonna say for undisputed tomorrow. <laughs> Are you concerned about the Los Angeles Lakers? <laughs> but when the Warriors lost, um, uh, what were I was gonna say? I was gonna say Clay Thompson. I was like, what? Oh shit, my boy Thompson, what's going on? Hey man, what's up? How you been, big baby? It's been good, man. How you been, man? I've been chilling. Just relocated to Houston. Oh, nice. But this, but this ain't about me, though. But, yeah. One thing I'm touching on, man, I'm tired of 80s inconsistency. Me too. I mean, the boy can play ball. I mean, I, I can understand you being injured, but you ever hear that saying, like, once you're getting injured so many times, now it's just on you. Yep, most definitely. You know, so like if you're if you're in the NBA and you're AD, how would you attack Draymond Green? I would attack Draymond Green. Yeah. 
if I were AD, hmm, that's a good question. One thing I would do is, since I have the size advantage, would wear him out. I'd wear him out by bringing him outside first because he has the athleticism. Yeah. And then once he's worn down, then you bang with him because he's already worn down. When you start hitting the body, that's going to take more out of you. Yeah. Yeah. But one thing I would do if I was AD, I'd hit the weight room. That's his problem. The boy don't lift weights for nothing. <laughs> he, he lifts those uh those lace bags from the commercials. Yeah, ruffles. Yeah, start ruffles. lifting the ruffles. <laughs> oh man, that's what me and my boy. Uh, I don't know if you know who Carcino is. To be on YouTube. Yeah, is he a Hooper? Oh, no, no. I know who Carcino is. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what I picked that up from. Yeah, we call, we call them ruffles. <laughs> But for game three, man, we LeBron, LeBron, AD got to say, you know what? Like, they have size, man. AD should be at least – I think if AD would have played like he did in game one, we would have won tonight. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, the inconsistency. It's like, come on, dude. It's like you've been here too long. You know what it is in Lake Land. I tell – it's like LeBron, this ain't Cleveland. AD, this ain't uh, New Orleans. This is Lake Land. We demand it. Yep, I agree. We we don't get happy off of, uh what is it first round victories. That's what I was peeping for a lot of the LeBron fans. I'm like, y'all happy off a of first round victory? You better go check these damn banners, man. What is it, 17 chips? Yep. The most the most finals appearances in the history of the NBA. You think we give a damn about a first round victory? No. Nah. No. Nah. But that's the thing though. When I when I tweeted AD's inconsistent, people are like, Oh, you hate AD. How is that hating? I'm just keeping it real about I keep it real about AD. And then they, they I mean, just, keeping it real, is the, it's the new hate, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Like, what, like what was it, 91? You remember 91 when the Lakers got to the finals against the Bulls? Yeah. And they had Sam Perkins with us. You remember Sam Perkins was hopping up all up and down. Yep. And then the next day, they had to apologize to him. Like, sorry, Sam. We didn't mean to make you look stupid, but we don't celebrate Western Conference champions here. Yeah. Hit the like button, everybody. Shout out to um, Brian said, I have a question. Oh, shit, there it is. I have a question. Can the Warriors not beat us in game three and four? I'll just put it on the screen for y'all. Um, we act like the Warriors can't beat us. We need to. How, how, oh, my God. So, getting blown out. We got blown out. But the fact that, like, people on Twitter are, like, saying I hate AD. I don't hate AD. I'm called like it is. Even if Shaq was on his team, Pal Gasol, Kobe, I mean, any great superstar, if they play like that, I would say you need to do better. That's what I'm saying. That's what, yeah, that, that's what we are like as Lakers fans because I'll go back to the like the feud with Shaq and uh, Kobe. Everybody yeah. wanted to blame Kobe. I, and I held both of them accountable. That's both y'all faults. Y'all both had egos involved. So that's what I'm saying. When you got to call it how it is. Yeah. What's going on, Lakers OG? Is he the number one black packer of all time? They both had egos. I will say that. Yeah. But it's just – all right, like, let me ask you this. If if Kobe was on this Laker team right now and he saw AD not playing up the far, I know AD or LeBron, I mean, Kobe would be like, you know what? He'll probably cuss him out so bad where he dominates game three. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Kobe was uh, Kobe was on, on your ass. He didn't care. He was like the last of the uh, 90s uh, mentality. Yeah, but but uh, but now we can't compare. We can't. You know, in today's NBA, you get blown up by 60, people are going to be on Instagram turning up, yay. You know? That's why I really can't compare them old school players to today. Yeah, I know, but you know it's hard not to because I, you know, it's like we got blown out and I see Darham laughing and it's like, but it's all good. We're gonna bounce back. AD has to dominate. The others have to step up, and we've been playing really well at home. The others play better at home. The crowd's gonna be rocking, man. It's gonna be, you know, game. The winner right here, I feel like Lakers have to win game three. People think I'm crazy. They got to be up 2-1 going into game four. And I don't want to be down and trying to be like, oh, it's a must win. I want to be up. You know, but going state, man, it's the team that everybody wanted, man. I wanted Sacramento. Yeah, that was but, it. Like you said earlier, yeah, they're going to have to win this game because, like you said, um, they – Golden State, I can't remember any time in recent memory, Golden State has blown a series lead yeah. to lose a series. What do you think about Darvin Ham? Oh my God! I mean, one thing. Uh, one, 
one thing another Laker fan, I heard another Laker fan talk about like he's good at like coming out the gate, but his adjustment game needs to be yeah. I'll say it's questionable. He doesn't know how to make adjustments. Yeah. There you go. Lakers all day. You popping champagne. Ham is trash. <laughs> Ham, uh, another thing I peeped on Ham. Ham, you need to take control because uh, I've seen him a couple of times, just a few times a season, but where you let stuff get out of hand. Yeah, well, that's why we call him Holiday Ham. <laughs> it's like you got to be more proactive instead of reactive. Yeah, see? But on Twitter, I tweeted AD's inconsistent. People in the comments were saying you hate AD. So I don't hate these. Keep just keeping it real. It's like, right. where were you at? Where were you at when he scored 23 and 20, 32 and 20? I was okay, good, and do it more. You know, and I was like, he's gonna be inconsistent. I just bet he let Jalen Green, Jamichael Green, and I tweeted horrible performance by Anthony Davis. But some people, on, I'll just read. I don't know if you guys can. I'll just read it. Horrible performance by AD. But some people are not gonna keep it real. They're gonna say that's a good game for Anthony Davis. Eight points. Jamichael Green out. Score out for play tonight, and you, you know, it's like the Lake, some like some uh Laker fans like to baby this dude, AD, but we'll be all right, you know, we'll be all right. But we got blown out for a reason, man. I, I like actually getting blown out so we can learn from it. Yeah, you can learn from them uh, losses sometimes way more than you learn from a win, yeah, because AD it was 11 points. Seven rebounds, but they showed a video of him just nodding his head like he did when we lost to um, Memphis when we got blown out in game, what, what was it, five or whatever it was, game five. And he had that same look, like, okay, and they came out. But, like, if AD's consistent, bro, if AD was consistent every single night, we'd be, we, would, we would be so dominant every night. We would be like, okay, you know, but I know it's a team sport, but sometimes AD needs to, like, demand the ball. I don't see that from him. He stands in the corner. Stand on the perimeter, almost shoot a jumper, and he looks hesitant sometimes, man. Yeah, he needs. It's like my man right here that's on the broadcast with us when he said you can't compare the '90s, which is right. Yeah, because true. if that was a center, if that was a center, if he was a '90s center and had a '90s mentality, he would have got on that block. Yeah, it's like they're shooting too many threes nowadays. It's like instead of the pick and roll, you see more pick and pop. You know what I mean? I can't. Yeah. I can't stand today's big man. I can't. I'm with you on that, my man. <laughs> That's I grew up a big fan of Shaq, so uh, they stand big men today just be brittle and shoot threes to be soft. I can't stand that. No. I swear, I swear, man, I hate King Sands talking shit about the Lakers, but your your ass gave up a 2-0 series lead. Uh-huh. Like, have that same energy. And I tweeted yep. to a, a King Sands, how are the Kings doing? You know, Clipper it was a Mavericks up. fan talking shit, man. <laughs> Clipper Darrow, There's always man. the one that didn't make the playoff that talk shit. I don't even yeah. worry about them. Yeah, Clipper Darrow's talking shit. I'm like, bro, don't make me get on your ass. <laughs> His old fan base don't even like him. No. <laughs> you know, so I guess uh, we got to, you know, baby Anthony Davis, man. I'm, no, I'm not babying shit, bro. I don't give a fuck what other Laker fans think. They like the baby players. They like to say, oh, he had a good game. Oh, it's not his fault. So you're saying, how is it not his fault he played trash? You know, 11 points, bro. Like, you got to do better. Even, even if LeBron, if LeBron, I guarantee you, if LeBron played like that, I would say the same thing. If Dio played like that, I'll say the same game. If the whole team the team played trash too, but if AD and LeBron don't play up the par, they're held accountable because they're the superstars of the team. You know, even when even when Kobe was here, even when Pal Gasol was here, they had games where we play up the part. I hold them accountable. I don't baby anybody on this team. I don't care what player you are on this team. You're going to get held accountable. And that's what I don't think he's ready for. It's more like he's like basking the celebration when, you know, things go his way. But as soon as they hit the fan, then it's like, I wouldn't say point finger. I say it's worse than point fingers. It's like he don't got nothing to say. Yeah. But like LeBron's team's been in the situation before in the finals. He was down three one, so LeBron's probably not worried. He ain't been tripping. Probably he's probably gonna post a video on Instagram or something. Watch, he's gonna post on Instagram about something, you know. But I'm just 
just very disappointed, man. I thought we were we played we're the first quarter. We we're playing good. LeBron came out good. We we're up seven, and then they just went cold once AD went to the bench, or once we had that weird lineup. With, I think it was LeBron, Dennis Shooter, Hachimura. But Hachimura, Rui Hachimura is very talented. Love his game. He played great tonight, even though we lost. He played great, and if he can put that with AD couple, I I want AD to at least give me twenty five and ten on the uh, game there, at least thirty and ten, at least oh shit. 30, give me 30 or at least 29. Not no 11 and 7. If you if he has another bad game, we're going to lose. If I hate to say it. My bad. No, go ahead. You know, I hate to say it. I hate to admit it, but you know what I peep sometimes? It's like we struggle with identity. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But, yeah, we do. It's like you don't know what to expect. Am I? Am I gonna? Do I expect LeBron to try to lead? Do I expect AD to try to lead? It's like, what's going on? I agree. Lakers all day, dope. They do got to play better, you know. But I noticed when AD and LeBron play great, the others follow. But when they don't play great, the others kind of like don't know how to handle that. That's why I reg- That's why they were. I regret the team organization regret just letting all the key role players from the uh, championship Rondo. What is it, Howard? Yeah, Green. Yeah. Like, why y'all let all these big guys go? I think they wanted to because the AD and LeBron won the Westbrook. <laughs> but look how that turned out. Yeah, I'm about to say you already see how that turned out. Yeah, but what you got? Speaking of that, man, what do you guys think about Pat Bev and Russ say? Oh, if the Lakers win championship, I want my ring. How do you guys feel about that? But the, what what they say? They, if the Lakers win the championship, Russell Westbrook and Patrick Beverly won a championship from the Lakers. Like, they want their rings. Oh, yeah, because I guess if you stick with them around a certain time, um, mm-hmm. I don't know. I first heard, I first heard that. Oh, my bad, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, I first heard of that little uh, rule or whatever when uh, Anderson Verge, I played for both Golden State and Cleveland. That's when I first heard about that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But for me, they don't deserve shit. They they were the ones that caused the Lakers to play bad this year. So fuck that. What you think, Angry? I'm personally gonna say um if Genie is gonna be nice enough to do that, I wouldn't give one to Pat Bev because he actually asked for a trade. Uh Russ Westbrook didn't ask for a trade at all. He just kept playing, even when he was in trade rumors. Yeah. But we'll see what happens, man. We'll see. She pissed off, though, because yeah, what I heard, she had to go into her personal money because last couple years, last couple years, it's been like a bad year financially for us. She had to go into her personal pocket. I know she hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she'll but, really be hot if we lose to go to state. Here's the thing, though. Pat Bev had an opportunity to go play with Golden State, but he rarely went to Chicago. <laughs> So that goes, your, you know. Yeah, we'll be fine. I'd rather be at one one than o two, to be honest. Because if we were going up down o two back to LA, I'd be nervous as hell. But being up one one, I think the Lakers are gonna come out, play aggressive. Game three, because what we we're off tomorrow. Talk exactly. about it. Yeah, we're off tomorrow. Then Saturday we play. Then we're off Sunday. I'll play Monday. But Lakers gotta come in, and you know, it, Curry cannot go for forty. And I'll let Kurt, uh, Thompson go for 40. If Clay shooting threes from like 30 feet, making them, if Curry shooting from the logo, shooting, turning, it's going to be a long night for the Lakers. I'm telling you that right now. If Curry has those games where he's shooting, turning around, it's over. We're going to get blown out. And, you know, shout out to Micah. <laughs> yeah, because I was watching it because uh, I was at work. I was I went to the little restaurant next door to my job. I was watching it on my break. I was watching a little bit and looked like that we was hanging with him tough. Then I look at the, the little score on them, NBA scores on Google. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Man, ran away with this. Yeah. But I got my own outlook on when you fall behind 0-2. Yeah. And my outlook is this. Not not that we felt on to, but if we would, I've been like, this is really what it is. All they've, all they've done is won two home court games. Now it's our turn. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like the old two, the two old lead gets overblown. Yeah. Well, that's funny how fans talk that noise when we lose. You know, like the like they act tough when they up, man. You know, yeah. The eight, let me see what Robert already said. Let me see. 
Yeah, Vando, three for five. Yeah, everybody didn't play good tonight. You know? Yeah, so I'm, just, like, I'm, just worried, I'm just worried about Vanderbilt's leg. Yeah. His leg. You see that nasty? That, that, that man, that shit looked nasty. Like, it could have yeah, went into what yeah. it did. Yeah, what's his face fell on top of his uh, ankle when they was going for like a loose ball. What's going on, Lakers all day? What's popping? What's up, man? How y'all doing, man? Good. Hey, good. hey, hey, man. How many points Austin Reeves had? And how many points D'Lo and? Uh, I, don't know. I think yeah, how Austin. Many had? Let me see. I think Austin Reeves had like what ten. Let me see. Recap real quick. Um. Uh. Not recap. Box score. Reeves had seven. D'Lo had ten. So that's 17 points combined for them. How much did Dennis Troy have? Zero or two? Or three, four, five? Four. Damn. Okay, so... Oh, wow, Lenny Walker had nine points. <laughs> wow, so if D'Lo had 10, Reeves had how many points? Seven, you said? Yeah, but... So, so yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna. Dennis? Yeah, we didn't play well tonight, but... Hey, man. We'll be all right, man. It's forced to four. There's a lot of Warrior fans talking. Um, I look at the score. I'm like, did y'all win the chat? Did y'all win the series? Like, no, look at the score. I'm like, okay. First to win four. And I was walking out and putting fours up. First to win four, not one. Yeah, no matter what, if you get by, beat by four or 30, you still won one. Yeah. yeah one bro, one. bro, but like, you know, so that like we, bro, but like, bro, having D load, have 10. Yeah. How many had like seven, right? And yeah, but he plays better at home. Like I know, but he'll he'll turn up. I think Lakers understand that they had they were playing good. They just went, they just went cold in that second quarter. They went cold for a five to six minute stretch, you know. And then once we went down like ten or eleven, that's when Darvin Ham called them up. Yeah, like we wasn't placing after when when Darvin Ham took out AD for some yeah. reason, and then and then he put in um. <clears throat> He put in winning Gabriel. It was like the defense went cold. It's like where was the defense? Nobody was guarding yeah. the paint. I think Tristan Thompson is gonna get some playing time in game three, bro. He gonna. Have, I mean, I know he wasn't. I mean, he missed, couple, but he has to because, because bro, like once AD go out of the game, there's nobody else that can that can step so, up. So AD said, "I took the same shots I took in game one, just missed them." It didn't look like you were. You know, that's what he like said. You. Yeah, I just repeated it. You just missed him? Shit, no yeah. argument right there. Shit. He said, uh, we'll be better, I'll be better. Just don't say it, just do it. All right, just shit. Oh, I don't know. Mean, I mean, I mean, see, what's understood don't need to be said. That's just how, that, that's just how, you know what I'm saying, when d had a bad game, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he, know, he knows he knows what he has to do wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He knows how to you know, get himself going. It's the same wow. thing with AD, you know what I'm saying? AD had a bad game. It's cool, you know what I'm saying? It's this next game up. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, having having both of our point guards not producing for LeBron and AD and Austin, Austin Reeves not really – he got four or seven points or whatever. But, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, our point guards need to step up. You know what I'm saying? And Austin yeah, Reeves. Yeah, I got a stat for you guys. You got to be pissed. Kevon Looney had eight rebounds in just 12 minutes off the bench, more than any single Laker player. Hey, man. I ain't saying See? nothing about that one. I ain't saying nothing. Go ahead, Ranger. I'm not saying anything. It's the coach. No, just that's, what happens when you, that's what happened when you played them tired legs, man. You know, trying to, look, yeah, before, be, even before the Memphis series, man, it was he was playing the shit out of LeBron and AD. Okay. Like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta like make have some kind of lineups where you can at least limit their minutes by five minutes at mm -hmm. least. You can't keep running them, especially LeBron. He's damn near forty. So do you, do you prefer to sit them for five to ten minutes each? No, or have them, have it to where they both, you know, is like one of them is on the floor at all times, like he's been doing, but. Yeah. Play some um fresh legs out there. Even if even if it's for like a two minute stretch, play some fresh legs. Hey, like you can have you can have a you can have AD out yeah. there at the same time with uh William Gabriel so at, least, at least for two minutes. You know, oh, yeah. put some fresh legs out there. Hey, angry. Do you know? Did you know that Rui had twenty one points tonight? Yeah. Yeah, Rui was balling. Yeah. Like Rui been balling his whole playoffs. He, but like, like it don't even seem like he had twenty points tonight, though. You know what I'm saying? Like no. it don't seem like he had he he 
he had 20 points. But Lakers you know? as a team only had nine nine turnovers. And I'm going to say at 16. Let me see what the dude said. And we still lost, and they have some more turnovers than we did. Like, That's, wow. amazing. That's an amazing stat, man. Yeah. So we averaged about two uh, turnovers a quarter? Yeah, well, we went to the first whole first quarter and only had like one turnover as a team or two turnovers. You know, so we, we just we just fell short. And, and I know Golden State's going to say, oh, they're going to be ready for game three. And I think the adjustment is AD got to play in the post and get Draymond the foul trouble and let, you know, get, you know, get Draymond. Because Draymond was doing a lot of high on the top of the key, setting those screens. They would come mm-hmm. around and Curry would shoot. It's like we, we got to defend that, you know, fight through it at least, you know, that, you know. I think the referees are going to give us game three in the refereeing. We'll see what happens, man. We got our ass kicked. It will be all right. Um, like, you know, and we've been through this before as Laker fans. We got waxed in series before in the second round by Phoenix one time. and But we'll be all right. Um, we'll, we'll make the adjustments. So, I, I, are you concerned that I'll all go into the game three? Uh, let me go for it. I mean, I. I picture that Sean's uh, I'm, second I'm, account. It's a, I am concerned a little bit. I am concerned a little bit. Yeah. I'm concerned because, you know what I'm saying, what, what Angry said about our coach, keep on, you know what I'm saying, he's, he's – our coach is starting LeBron – I mean, are having LeBron and AD in the game for a mighty long time and the starters. And, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, Clay Thompson had a good game, right? Last game, Steph Curry had a good game. That's twice that Clay Thompson had a great game. Andrew Wiggins didn't have a great game yet for them. You know what I mean? And yeah. they still have Poole come off the bench, and he still didn't have a great game yet either. You know what I'm saying? So they have a lot of firepower that we have to stop. Yeah, well. And if we can, like, try to, like, stop Steph and Clay, and just let Wiggins kill us, then that's fine. I, I'm happy for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we have to do we have to do better. These these point guards and Austin Reeves, they have to play better, bro. The coach got to do better. LeBron got to uh, stop shooting threes. You feel me? Yeah. Like, but yeah, man, we'll be we'll make the adjustments at home. Game three is gonna be rocking. We're gonna turn the fuck up and we'll bounce back. Take this two one lead. And Lakers got like because so everybody's talking about Golden State plays bad on the road. They beat Sacramento in Game Seven, man. So, yeah, I don't know how to think they just because they play bad on the road, but they're a player, they won the championship last yeah. year. Yeah, yep, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's the Warriors, bro. They yeah, know they, how to they, beat you. If they win this series, they're gonna, re- they're gonna beat Denver because Phoenix is done. Phoenix is gonna lose tomorrow, they're gonna get swept. Um, Denver's yeah, gonna go, good. Denver, Denver's gonna, and Golden State, Denver's gonna. Make the wrong adjustments, and Curry's going to be shooting shimmy. And they're going to go to the finals, man. And if they win it, they're a dynasty. They're already a dynasty, but they'll be even more of a dynasty if they win. You know, well, they'll have five as a as a whole, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I think that, they'll have five. Yeah, Clay. I mean, Curry and Clay will have five, and Wiggins will have like two, right? Yeah, two. Yeah. And gotta give credit to them, man. And. Um, we'll see what happens, man. But we'll be all right. We'll get our ass kicked. We'll make a right adjustments, man. But I'm gonna end the stream, man, because I gotta get up at 6 a.m. for work. So uh thanks for everybody in the comment section down below. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and um baby baby. We'll see you guys game three. Peace out. Peace out. Later.